everyone, I'm your host Mayuka, a certified sake professional. This is the most passionate Japanese wine, sake, food, and culture program if you're interested in learning or experiencing with me. I'm here in Mitsuo Market here in Plano, Texas. Let's get inside. inside the store. Mitsuo Marketplace is the largest Japanese grocery chain in the U.S. They have so much cool stuff in here. Everything straight from Japan. Every time I'm here, I get so excited. Now here, I'm at the sake selection corner. Um, Mitsuo Marketplace has one of the largest and best selection of sake. And I am a sake distributor, and they're being so grateful for purchasing all my sake. Here it is. And today, I'm going to introduce you some of my selections. Sawahime Sake by Inoue Seikichi Honten is from Tochigi Prefecture where it has been getting very popular as a key region for sake fans. This is Sawahime Yamahai Junmai. This sake was brewed with traditional method which gives little nutty, earthy flavor components and slightly higher in acidity so it cuts through those greasy little um, saucy, sweetie type of flavor dishes such as chicken teriyaki, unagi, things like that. We are in the seafood corner. They have all kinds of seafood straight from Japan. And they have freshwater eel unagi. It's nice and it's a good size. That's gonna go really well with the Sawahime Yamahai Jumai. Yamaha's style sake tends to be gamier, wilder flavor that can be fascinating. Unagi also has a little bit of a wild flavor character, but the sauce always makes it sweet and rich. This Sawaki Mejumai has aggressive fruit aroma that goes well with the unagi sauce. Here is Sawaki Mejumai Ginjo Sake. As you can tell from the label, it is clean, dry, nice and refreshing. It goes really well with sashimi and sushi dishes. And it's perfect shokuchushu, that means sake that's enjoyed during your meal. It is nice and clean and dry. It won't bother the flavor of your dishes. Now we are at the bento corner here. They have a variety of bento dishes. Oh, look. They have all kinds of onigiri balls. It's nice and easy kind of snack. You can kind of snack on anytime you feel a little hungry. And they have nigiri sushi uh, in general American market. It's hard to find this kind of authentic style Japanese nigiri sushi. They have tuna, squid, salmon, and yellowtail. And it's, I love the variety. Those nigiri sushi, you have to have that Junmai Ginjo Sawahime. Sawahime Junmai Ginjo is clean and dry and somehow herbaceous that becomes perfect to pair with sushi. Traditional nigiri sushi always have some kind of palate cleansing components such as wasabi, ginger, and green onion. This sake and nigiri sushi will be the best complementary pairing. This is Sawahime Junmai Daiginjo made by Shimotsuke, one of the few master brewers in Japan. And it's super limited quantity and deliciously structured, more aromas and goes well with any kind of food, especially seafood. Let's go find some the best matches in this store. So here are instant noodles. Here you go, that's my favorite, Japanese pasta seasonings. It's one of the things that I don't really find it in 
the American grocery stores, all what you do is just mix it in with the noodles and that's it. Uh, one of my favorites, spicy cod roll. It's called mentaiko in Japanese. It goes really, really good with the sawahime junmai daikinjo that I introduced to you earlier. Mentaiko is made by brining and seasoning fresh cod roll, which gives a pink color. If you are not much of a seafood fan, you may want to skip. But if you love anchovies in your pasta, this should be right up your alley. Mentaiko is one of the hardest ingredients to enjoy with any types of alcoholic beverages. I discovered how this sawahime junmai daiginjo goes amazingly well together. When the saltiness of mentaiko meets sake, it turns out to be umami and sake will perfectly cleanse out your palate without being unpleasant metallic flavors just like you may have experienced with wine and anchovies pairing. Here is Sawahime Daiginjo Sake. This sake is amazing. It's got awarded as number one in the world at International Wine Challenge in 2010. It has more structure, a little more robust in flavor and aroma. Um, it's got great texture as well. So it goes really well with beef dishes, especially sukiyaki hot pot. Did you know you can make your own sukiyaki at home very easily? Mitsuwa's got everything what you need to cook your delicious sukiyaki pot at home. Here they have perfect marbled wagyu grade sukiyaki beef chunks. Shopping is done. I'm gonna head back home and cook. I'm back home now. I'm going to cook sukiyaki. I found this cool thing. It's a sukiyaki broth at Mitsuwa Market. It contains sugar, soy sauce, and dashi that will make so much easier to make your sukiyaki pot. Sawahime Daiginjo Sake gives you a strong impression. It is very aromatic and flavorful. This is why I'm pairing this sake with sukiyaki that offers a rich flavor. Thank you very much for watching. Now you guys know how easy and simple to make the perfect dish with the perfect sake to pair with. Okay. Um, I can do it, so I'm not good at cooking, so you can definitely do it, even better. Um, if you enjoyed the show today, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!